Hi everyone, this is going to be a reading about what is being said about you and what has been said about you. There are going to be five tiles, <clears throat> starting with pile one. We have this Amanita Mascara. Mascara. For pile two, we have these cooking mushrooms. For pile three, we have these forest mushrooms. I love these little stickers. For pile four, we have these little decay looking mushrooms. And our pile five is going to be these mystical forest looking mushrooms. Hi, Pile 1. I chose the Amanita Mascara. This is going to be reading about what's being said about you and what has been said about you. Spirit, please step me into Pile 1's energy, Pile 1's spirit guides, Pile 1's highest vibration. I want ancestors. Please tell me what I need to know concerning who's talking about Pile One and what has been said about Pile One. Okay. We have five of wands in reverse. Ace of Wands, Azazel in reverse. Three of Swords, Guam. Eight of Wands, Renova. The Devil, Moloch in reverse. Murmur, Six of Wands. Or, Mur. Yeah, no, Murmur. Friends, the hanged man, and at the bottom of the deck we have Cameo the Fool. So, yeah, I'm sensing a lot of hurt energies, people who just feel hurt by you, but over stupid shit. Yeah, people who you had um, a passion with or you just shared creativity with. Somebody who you put your trust in, um, who betrayed you. Somebody's name might start with an A. Or they have two A's in their name. Yeah, people are saying they used to like, people will tell their friends about you and say they used to have a passion for you, but they can't, they, they're they like, why did I, how could I ever like this person, I hate this person. They say a lot of mean things and just bring you down. Maybe for things they used to compliment you for while y'all were in a relationship. Or things you made yourself vulnerable and showed people. They'll talk shit about that just to like, just because they know it, it it's bad and like, it's that part of, like, it's that part of you that like, you're scared of other people seeing. Some people are saying that, like, I'm getting, like, your friends are saying, like, they don't understand how you can be so, like, generous and, like, 
like your friends are saying how amazed they are that like you don't start acting like <laughs> like you deserve better or something or start getting all mad because things so many things are going wrong for you um they say like it's like um they'll talk about moments where they expected you to blow up or expected you to act really mad or act different or just like say something really like bad and it's like you almost were the complete opposite of what they expected and um they were kind of like like i don't I, it's like the some of them are like upset because they feel like you deserve better and they feel like you should stick up for yourself more but others are like how does this person stay so balanced even when like these things are happening to them because I'm, I'm sensing a lot of people talk about you and say like say things about you like you're, you're under constant scrutiny but it's like you're you're chill. You're spiritually attuned with yourself. You don't really. It doesn't really affect you as much as it affects other people. Um, yeah, people talk about um, the way you talk. They talk about the situations you've been in. So, like, if the people you've told about um, the stuff that's happened to you recently that was, like, painful or that was messed up. They've like gone to their friends or gone to people and been like, can you believe that happened? Like that's so messed up. Or like people who you've like told that kind of stuff happened like in past relationships or in past friendships, they'll go around and spread your business. They'll go around telling other people like things that happened to you and like laugh at you. Yeah, be careful who you um be careful who you tell your true pains to. It feels like you told somebody um something that like maybe like one of your biggest phobias or maybe something that like you really fear or maybe just something like a deep part of yourself and they've kind of used it against you like you've heard them talking about it to other people or you've heard like other people like ask you about it or like and it's just really intrusive because like that's a deep part of you you have to deal with um every single day yeah I'm hearing tra like childhood trauma for some of you, like people will, wow that's fucked up, they'll sit there and they'll dog on your trauma and be like, I don't get why this person thinks it's such a big deal, and like, wow that's really messed up, it's like they don't understand, it's, they don't understand though, like, they, it's like when you told them, even in that moment they were kind of like, thinking of it in a selfish way and being like, oh is this person like saying this for attention, like, they weren't actually truly thinking of like why you were saying that um people so, yeah people talk about people have talked about wanting to cause you pain somebody who's like literally talked about wanting to fight you somebody's talked about wanting to like for some of you gang up on you um just like it's really like behind your back sneaky shit like they want to like go behind you like and genuinely stab you in the back or some stuff like that like it's like this person wants to yeah i'm getting a specific person like talks about you over and over again is like obsessed with like trying to control you or trying to like cause you emotional or physical pain like they just hate you for some reason like somebody might have a bully or a past bully who's still obsessed with you or just like a past like lover who can't fucking stop thinking about you and is like harassing you yeah <laughs> these people who don't even really know you they'll sit there and talk about how dumb they think your beliefs are how dumb they think your creativity is and they're like uh, what did this person they th think they're gonna do in life like they're just gonna like they judge your actions, they judge um, your open, sensitive nature, and um, it's almost like they see it as a joke, and they'll say this to people, they'll be like, it's like they'll make fun of your sensitivity, or like, maybe this person like, tried to talk to you, and then like, get you to open up to them, and then they like, 
were acting weird and they ended up screenshotting the conversation and sending it to other people and being like wow look at this person haha <laughs> so like they're so gullible just really nasty energy and it's almost like it's almost like you don't care like you're not trying to start shit you 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 just move on like it doesn't even bother you and the, your friends are like how does this person not just turn into a total bitch and like lose her shit or lose his shit or lose their shit yeah some people are really impressed with how like unbothered you are by the petty shit or by dramatic like it's like you're, you've been over it, like you're over it, like you don't, you're not gonna be a fucking child about stupid shit, and you're not gonna indulge fucking children, so, you know, you're, it's not gonna, it's, it's just not gonna matter to you, and yeah, this bothers <laughs> those other people who are talking about you and like wanting to cause you pain and like saying that like you have no idea what you're doing and like, something about the way you um talk or the way you express yourself maybe like you just you have a really like passive aggressive face or voice like you just don't care maybe like you're really firm or aggressive or like headstrong with your like um personality um or maybe they just like maybe you're the opposite and like you're really meek and quiet or like maybe you just like I don't know something i'm getting strong judgment and like people talking about like judging your manner of expression um it's almost like you express straight from the heart and a lot of people are like especially fake people are like what's like they just they don't have the capacity to understand it um so they perceive it in a really weird often messed up way but um someone you're close to talks about how like they talk about like how sh it's not it's not even str strong is not even the right word it's like you're so wise, you're such an old soul, you don't, you care about others so much, you're, you're humble, this person, like, they talk about how you've always, like, done them right, or you've always been nice to them, or you've never, like, um, there's something about how, like, you're literally, it's like they expected you to be, a, um, be a certain way, or be, like, a bad person, like, other people in their lives, and it's, and they they tell they they tell other people they're like this person completely changed my view like they completely changed how I feel about myself. This person is really affected by you. This might be someone um, who has a crush on you, someone who admires you, someone you admire. But um, you really, I don't, even, I don't even, yeah. It's like this person has told other people they literally see you as like almost an angel. They see you as like someone they really enjoy being around or really want to be around because you're so. They see this like caring, nurturing part of you or like this part of you that doesn't take any bullshit. Like you're, you're a real person. You're an honest person. And they like they talk about either wanting to get to know you better, wanting to talk to you, wanting to like be close to you, or they talk about how amazing it is to be close to you and like how different you are once they get once they got to know you and how like how much you like changed their worldview because of how different they how different you were from what they expected you to be. I don't know why with this little murmur out there was just like murmurs on the street, whispers on the street, like just people like like you know, like they you might be walking past and you can like very clearly see people talking about you as you're like standing there walking there. 
um, people might go out of their way to like agitate you by like talking in front of you or like being with their being with a group of friends and like they're all like laughing at you and pointing at you obviously um and yeah even though it's awkward it doesn't really bother you as much as you're just like what are they doing that's really embarrassing or like you're just like okay you're just like and it's funny because these people are all like <laughs> yeah, this person and they're just they're just dragging dragging you down and boosting their own ego but it's like coming from a place of hurt and insecurity like the things they drag down about you or like laughing out about you are things they hate about themselves and things they're jealous of you that you have yeah people like see this abundance within within you and it's almost like they're like that's not abundance what i have is abundance when it's the complete opposite and they're like taking away from themselves taking away from other people they're just miserable and they're acting like it's crazy there's some they're under some illusion and they're acting like you're the one who's crazy and you're the one who is like stupid for having this having your own way of making abundance for yourself and loving for, loving yourself and not needing other like to bring down other people or not needing to be you know you have your own firm personality you're authentic you don't need to act like other people you don't need to fucking submit to what other people want you're a very in tune spiritual person and people don't really it's almost like people don't bother to see that about you until they get to know you closer i'm hearing your spirit guides like gas you up so much like they get so angry they're like this person deserves better this person and they it's like they're like why doesn't this person like i don't know your spirit guides just like are like why does this person get better there may be something that like some some people who just like actively like keep going at you your spirit guides talk about like they talk to you about what can be it's it's almost like they tell you to say something or they tell you to like call them out but you don't listen or maybe it's like they tell other people that you should call them out but and like other people tell you you should call them out but you don't it doesn't bother you and even though it bothers your spirit guides and it bothers the people around you you're just like you know it's not gonna stop either way and it's just gonna add more fuel to the fire <laughs> It's crazy. I'm hearing like your family members are surprised by how much you've gone through and what 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 that's turned you into. It's almost like you've blossomed into something they never thought was possible. <laughs> Even though so much horrible stuff happened to you, they thought you would turn out horrible. Kind of. They didn't like I'm not saying that's what they like said exactly but they were a little apprehensive you know they were talking amongst themselves they were like can't believe this person was strong enough to be able to get through that and turn into the person they are now because it's almost like you completely shed your skin you've turned into something like butterfly transformation and with, you know, it looks like he cut his own skin off and is holding it out to himself. Like, you know, he did it all by himself. He didn't need anyone's help. He, you know, he made that transformation all on his own. I'm not saying you should go, like, force the transformation by cutting your shit off. But maybe that's how you roll. I don't know. Again, people, it's crazy because the people who don't understand how much pain you've gone through and how much you've grown from it are like, they talk about how 
you act all high and mighty about pain like you act all like um I don't know they just like they're, it's like they <laughs> they literally say this person doesn't understand pain at all this person doesn't understand trauma at all like they don't understand what it's like to I don't know and it's like they're completely projecting onto you but it's like people obsess over yeah it's like it's weird because people will just talk and talk and talk about like the the things you've made vulnerable to them or the things you told them about yourself that maybe you were scared to tell them it's because it like they get some sick they get some sick satis sat satisfaction out of um taking away that part of you that wanted that to be secret that wanted that to be hidden you know and yeah they talk about every yeah every they just talk about how they think you don't know they think you don't know they think you just don't know how the world works they think you're a fool they think you're a child um even these people who are like speaking good about you it's like they wish you would do more for yourself or wish you would like act less like you know like a child i guess but it's like they don't understand that you're not acting like a child it's <laughs> they just you you know you know you know you know and <laughs> what people say about you has nothing to do like people it's almost like it's people have just said it and said it and said it and like made you doubt that like your feelings were valid maybe at some points like you're usually strong against it but um they just talk about it so much that you're like why do these people care and um maybe also like the things you've said um people felt like it hit on the mark too much like maybe you when you do speak up you're just like you say you're on point you you, you know what you fucking said you focus on one little fucking thing you know exactly what you're saying and what for and people are almost like even though they've said so much about you it's like they're like oh you went too far like oh like how'd you know that or like how did you how are you so on point with that and people will talk about how they'll they'll, they'll just be like it's like they're mad like they were, they were freaked out by that happening and they were and they'll they'll just be all angry about it because it hit it hit the mark so they'll be all angry about it being like why would this person say this but it's like it's literally because they're insecure about exactly what you said and you said it because you know something needed to be said <laughs> yeah <laughs> It, it, yeah and as it turns out yeah the people that know you know that you're you're not just a child like especially seeing the things you say so intuitively just like pinning down people's you know true intentions you're very intelligent and very wise and very emotionally mature and that's why you don't engage in all this like it's almost like it circles around you getting Aquarius energy you just at the center watching all of it happen like channeling it channeling it subconsciously and that's why you never lose your cool with this five of wands in reverse you never you know you never lash out you never turn into a bitch you never project onto other people because it happens to you all the time and you know how much it sucks but yeah those people who you've like you've cut down in the past or people who hurt you over and over again and you just cut off because you were tired of it they talk about how in pain they are by 
losing you and how uh, much they missed an opportunity with you. They talk about the way they, the way you used to, um, like how beautiful your sense of expression was and the way you used to make them feel so loved because you have this way of like pulling someone in and just giving them exactly what they need because like you're really just wise understanding like giving person yeah you it's like you have a really balanced shadow side and like because there's double in reverse this person talks about how like they were the problem in all those situations where they hurt you and then like you like obviously weren't taking it so you said something back to them and then they got mad at you like they're looking back on it like oh i was the problem like this person was just defending themselves and it's like this weight that presses down on them because they know that they ruined something beautiful and they know that they could never go back <clears throat> um i have no pity for this person even as i'm channeling them i'm like okay like you deserve to have that weight on your chest um anyway <laughs> yeah people just like they talk about how much you deserve to just ha be prideful and like be on your high horse they talk about how like beautiful you are when you're like confident like that and you're just expressing yourself without giving a fuck you know <laughs> and they talk about how beautiful your transformations are like you transform all the time it's like people are, are amazed by how you can just change when you're in pain or like when things happen to you you just change for the better and it's like they're amazed by your sense of being able to create create new beginnings with the full card here like you're open to your inner child you're open to the universe you're open to um not being bothered by this petty energy by this negative energy like you have um experience with your high vibrations and you <laughs> you're okay with like not showing that to everybody and only showing that to people who you are really close to you because you don't want to get taken advantage of and people see this complexity within you and they just talk about it makes them want to like i don't know it inspires them definitely but also like in a way that they're glad to have you in their lives they feel like they can learn so much from you and they say this to other people they're like they, they talk about how much you've changed them as a person because even with like your family like it's like you amazed them and there's something about you that just is so unconventional and weird that you completely changed their like priorities and like passions but yeah, that's what we said about you, pile one. Hi pile two, my little cooking mushrooms. Here's what spirit has to say about what's being said about you. Or what has been said about you will be revealed. And exactly the amount it needs to be revealed to whoever it needs to be revealed to. Whether you are watching it, or you and a friend are watching it. I'm going to block out any negative energies. And block out anything that isn't for your highest vibration for this reading. We are only going to hear exactly what we need to know. Mr. Please tell me. Please enlighten me. And pile two about who and what is being said about them. We have art. Spirit, please tell me what's being said about pile two. Adjustment. Art and adjustment. 
spirit, what is being said about Pile 2? What has been said about Pile 2? People talk about Pile 2, what do they say? I need two more cards on what people say about Pile 2. Pile 2. Pile 2, Pile 2, Pile 2. The bottom of the deck we have the Empress. Some of you might be divine feminine. People just see you as a really feminine person, really feminine energy, really passive energy. Um, they see you as a very strong feminine, very intuitive high priestess. You know your worth. you perceive things and act in such a balanced introspective but also caring and nurturing manner your masculine and feminine sides are very balanced people see this about you they talk about your beauty they talk about your etherealness the Empress has sort of a watery aura, and people talk about the way you move, the way you talk, how your voice projects, how your energy makes them feel. We have the moon in reverse. Someone sees you as a star, someone sees you as their star in their lives. Yeah, you inspire a lot of people, you might be popular, but all the people you know see you as an inspiration, they see you as someone who shines. Yeah, I'm getting some sort of tired in this suit too, <laughs> tied to the, you're like a bridge between the met metaphysical and the physical world, and so you, with gain here, we have those, you see the little triangle. You have positive aspects in your chart, in your life, or something with this nine, yeah, nine of pentacles, you just attract abundance. You attract abundance by being in touch with your intuition and the way that you are, and this etherealness that you have. People talk about how abundant you are, they talk about how abundant your energy feels and how abundant you make them feel. People talk about wanting to invest in you, wanting to share abundance with you. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, you might inherit a legacy or you might be sharing some sort of physical material or perhaps spiritual, um, what's the word, inheritances, um, a very large sums. But other than that, you just shine in a way that people feel like you have so much, even if you might not have a lot of life, people feel like um, you bring so much to the table, you do so much with your energy with so, with very little. Um, we have virtue with the three of wands here. You don't, you don't get stuck in the present. You focus on your truth and you focus on your direction and your alignment. You are in touch with your inner child. You plan in a way that is healthy for you. People feel like, um, they talk about how they're proud of how you've come into your future. They're proud of what you've done with your past and how you've turned it into what you have now. They're proud of your outlook. They really like um, what you like wanna do or what like the, what you left behind and what you're trying to create instead um, from what you've learned. People talk about, um, we have five of swords, strife, or five of wands, I mean, I'm sorry, strife. Um, people talk about um, these unnecessary, bad, hurtful experiences that you go through. 
Yeah. It's almost like... It's almost like you, you've been a, you've been around <laughs> the cycle of pain a lot of times, and you've learned a lot from it. You've gained a lot from it. Like you've positioned, you you positioned yourself, and you grew in a way that you gained a lot from um, those lessons and from even though, even 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 though you were in pain. Um, maybe you there's something you're going through where you have to go through constant pain and people talk about how amazed they are that, that you can um, just keep doing that and stay strong through that. We have the Princess of Swords. So there's something about the way you speak, definitely like, um, as in people believe in what you say, people um, when you speak, people listen to you and want to hear your side of things because they feel like they can learn something from it or they feel interested in your way of speaking or thinking of your outlook on things. Yeah, people talk about how they like having conversations with you. They think, um, you know, people talk about how smart you are, like the intellectuality of your conversations. They talk about, um, you know, you cut away the bullshit. They talk about how like, you know, some of you might not like, you might just straight up ignore people who are too, um, you just, you, you're, you're not, I don't, I don't know how to explain this. You're not afraid to just intuitively tell what's not right for you and cut it out of your life and it's like it doesn't matter if it comes off as rude or messed up because you ended up being right in the end and the person ended up being fake or the toxic thing ended up being not not for you and people are amazed at like how sure how sure you are how you surrender to it how you just kind of do it how you just kind of like know what isn't good for you and back out exactly when you need to it's like they look for you they look towards you for like advice in a situation or like seeing if something like in a situation is going a little weird like um coming back to this adjustment card there's a sense of having to stay in balance or keep it keep 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 the balance in a group setting i'm getting libra vibes off of some of you just connection to the forest. People talk about how um, well adjusted you are, if that makes sense. And also they talk about how you adjust to things well, like you are very dynamic, open-minded, have an open sense of change, and um, you're not afraid of new things or new ideas or new patterns even if you can't control them, especially if you can't control them, you don't get afraid in those situations. Um, because it's easier for you to be in touch with yourself and not lose grip on reality when you are in, in those balanced states. Um, yeah, people talk about how you're able to just... Um, keep your head, be emotionally mature, be emotionally wise, not like lose your shit over stupid shit. It's like they're proud of you for that. Um, being like other people in that they can't, they can't be an adult when they need to be an adult. Like, I don't know. It's like, you understand when there's a time to be, um, you know, focused on yourself, focused on your own self-interest, and then when there's a time to be looking out for other people and paying attention to what exactly is going on and, like, in the situation with other people and, like, bringing things back together because things are going wrong, like, um, you make people feel more safe and secure in situations in that way, and because, you know, I feel like the people in your life tend to feel uncomfortable with um, janky situations or situations that aren't stable or situations that aren't like, I mean, yeah, obviously 
you know, that's not really any kind of energy anyone wants to attract, but I don't know. People talk about how you're able to hold things together in a, in a situation, even when it gets weird, um, you just kind of, you know, you're chill and you make it, you make it not really like awkward or even like sometimes dark in some situations when it gets a little on the darker side with this art people stalk your social media oh wow i don't know why i said that um people talk about how they stalk your social media um i guess okay um people like your art um people get obsessed with your art people will watch your art over and over again they might share it with other people you know they talk about your art if you don't know art um maybe you just post on social media you know like yourself yeah that's another form of art i guess but if you don't do that you know you're not a big social media person like that who just posts a lot um people see you as a work of art people see you <laughs> as someone who is like constantly moving and speaking and expressing and everything they do or say is like an art form like they're genuinely creating something out of that and people talk about like because you know you're an art they talk about how beautiful you are they talk about like it's not just like beautiful but it's like an ethereal beauty it's like a like deep inner spiritual beauty that people just like feel a pull towards so yeah <laughs> people talk about you on the street sometimes just be like oh this person is attractive or you know they see you once maybe or a few times and they tell your friends about how beautiful you are yeah some people talk about that they have dreams about you um, <laughs> oh wow prince of swords prince of swords right okay that prince of swords is right on top of this princess of swords i can't believe i just noticed that wow okay i just saw something very beautiful um if you're in touch with your divine counterpart or you're in touch with like a soulmate or like you're in a relationship right now people see that relationship as beautiful they see how you've incorporated that relationship into yourself is very beautiful um I don't know they really see you as a balanced person within your like divine counterparts just within yourself i mean and it's like there's this beauty about you where with this swords energy you don't take any bullshit you're like very strong very analytical very passive you say exactly what needs to be said um it's almost like some people find you intimidating because you just have this such a power to your energy and with this three of wands you know exactly where you're going you're very firm with your beliefs you're not going to be going on the wrong direction or straying from your path um or getting distracted so i'm getting virgo energy from some of you you um if you are in a relationship like your person talks about how much they feel in balance with you and harmony with you they talk about how much you remind them of themselves and how much you make them get in touch with themselves and their inner child they talk about how beautiful you are how much they love you every way you move every way you talk every way you just manipulate time your power your spiritual power there's something about you that they just can't get enough of they just it's like an overflowing cup of just like wanting to spill all these like feelings towards you they, they definitely tell their friends about it they just can't stop talking about it it's like i just heard that people talk about you in art people express things that they want to say about you through art like um memes like paintings music um acting look at these two she's kind of like flowing towards him and he's kind of flowing up towards the sky so I'm just seeing like this vision of just stars in the sky, like shooting stars in the sky, twin flames. 
so okay um for others of you you have a very there's there you have this power with um thinking and speaking like there's something about um you have a sort of way of um planning out things in a really fast way and like to get exactly what you want and knowing how to get there intuitively um and it's like some people are scared that you're gonna manipulate them or some people are like attracted to it and they're like they feel that you're really intellectual and really like smart in a weird way like but in like an unconventional way um if this may be like teachers who talk about you or like um you know just older people And then for others of you, they say that they're scared that you get trapped in your own mind and that um, you have so many like thoughts consuming you that um, they might see you as like a really anxious person or they just don't, they don't understand how you flip from topic to topic so quickly, um, how quick your, how quick your mind works and how like fast you might move from like, could you make plans and then you create, you know, People feel like you move, you jump from plan to plan rather quickly. Or you just, they talk about, <laughs> your way of expression is just very quick, like very um, overwhelming almost. Like it's very rapid fire, very, um, in your face. No, it's more like, they talk about how like it makes an impression on them and like, they're like, wow, that person is so, I don't know, some people, <laughs> some people are like, oh, they're such a smart ass, but there's something about how, like, I don't know, there's just some sort of way you think is very interesting to people. It might be, like, part of you just, your personality, it's just like, you have a really cool way of thinking, um, that people admire about you, and they just talk about, like, Look at this power, four of pentacles. We have some strong foundations here. So people feel like you have strong, firm foundations on yourself, on your ego, on your path. Um, yeah, they feel like you They talk about how um, you might be well off, and if not that, they talk about how you might be like really protected and that um, things just happen to go well for you because you are so aligned with your direction and being balanced in that way that things just go well for you because you stay in that energy. Um, People talk about wanting to um, drive over to see you or move over to you, like, from long distance. People are, some people are anxious to see you, like, they're anxious to, yeah, people talk about how they wish they could see you again, they wish they, like, could be near you, like, in your physical presence. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody left you behind and they wish they could go back. Or for some of you, they want to, like, actually come back and, like, drive over to your place. Or have you drive over and meet them. Yeah, somebody feel like they abuse their power against you and they talk about that. Or they feel like they had the power to be in your life and they, and they like, regret choosing not to. Yeah, 
Other people talk about how they feel like you're a powerful person and like the things you say and the way you act is just powerful. Like I feel like that's just shit people say about you and they're like, you know, talking about you to like people and being like, oh, this person's so cool or like on social media or something. We have Five of Swords, which is weird because it was right on five of right on top of Five of Wands, which I mistook for Five of Swords. Um, yeah, so you're really balanced between like um, struggling with your passions and your creativity and your self your self expression and how people perceive you, and then also. Um, your way of thinking and how people don't understand your way of thinking and how it all ties together with your, you know, sense of self-expression. And people don't see it, but this these two parts of you that, like, end up, like, getting scrutinized and getting put in a lot of pain are actually really balanced with this adjustment card. You just constantly adjust to keep them in balance within yourself, and it's caused you to, like, receive so much good karma, like, the universe is giving you so much abundance and it's bringing you straight on your path to exactly where you need to be. Yeah, it brings, it brings you full circle when you pay attention to both these parts of yourselves, of, like, your fire sign energies, your air sign energies. You and, um, yeah, like someone who talks about you maybe an air sign or a fire sign, like some sort of like lover, or some sort of close friend. Yeah, it says defeat on this card. People talk about how they feel defeated by not seeing the truth, like not seeing like what you had to offer. Like you were operating from the heart. You were expressing yourself from the heart and people just um completely blinding themselves by their own ego they talk about how um, some people talk about how like you are very attractive and how like in a dark way like maybe some people talk about you and say you're attractive and they shouldn't be saying that or maybe like it's like a close friend who's saying that about you or something like that But yeah, overall I'm getting like energies of admiration, energies of jealousy, energies of like not even that much gen jealousy, just like because you as a powerhouse, you have a lot of abundance. You're a very like balanced person, very well <laughs> very like you have a lot within yourself and you know people it's like they just want to they want to get to know you they want to write music about you they want to like they just think about you a lot they talk about you a lot they talk about a future with you and wanting you in their lives or some of them talk about regretting you not having regretting not being able to have a future with you But with this moon in reverse, you're just a star in the sky. You're just shining, doing your own thing. And people people love that about you. That's what they say about you. They just they feel like you're out of their reach. You know, you're a shooting star blowing away. But yeah, that's your reading, Pat, too. Pile up the My forest mushrooms. This is going to be a reading on what people have said and say about you. What is being said about pile three? What is being said about pile three? What 
What do people tell their friends about Pile 3? Spirit, tell me about Pile 3. What do people say about Pile 3? Of Spirit, what do people say about Pile 3? We have Ace of Wands and Four of Cups. Spirit, what else do people Say about pile three. The world in reverse. What did people say about pile three? The high priestess in reverse. What else do people say about pile three? What do people say about this forest mushroom pile? One more card on what people say about Pile 3, please. Please, Spirit, one more card. Page of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, first of all, I'm hearing that you're protected because... You have a lot of people sending energy towards you because they talk about you a lot. Um, a lot of negative energy, I must say. But you are very protected um, by spirit guides and spirit ancestors. But I am going to go ahead and let some sage just clear the energy for this reading. Yeah. A lot of what's said about you, um, you may not ever, like, hear, or people are very good at hiding it from you. People, um, secretly admire you. you. They feel like you're a very emotionally open person, and you are not afraid to speak about your emotions, you're not afraid to speak about other people's emotions and help other people through their emotions with this strength card people see you as really strong in balance with your shadow side and even okay they talk about um your relationship with your pet so if like you're really close with your pet or something um they talk about uh, they talk about that. People also talk about the way you express your art, you express yourself through art, um, or in the workplace. People talk about how, um, you have a very sensitive way about it, or a very watery, emotional way about it, um, that just changes their emotions. Yeah, most social social situations people see you as very strong um and with seven of wands is the overall energy you're very like you're not fighting against other people you're not <clears throat> i don't know people talk about how you don't um you make them feel included you make them feel like their side is being understood especially with people who don't get the chance to feel like they're being understood. And um, 
some people may see you as just like this Leo type of energy. You might have strong Leo placements or they might just see you as like the sun. Like their world might revolve around you and they talk about you as if you are a shining star. And maybe just a headstrong person or an egotistical person for some of you. Like some people like say that about you, like they think you're arrogant. Um, but it's like out of jealousy. This Nine of Swords, I'm seeing that, like, look at how she's thinking about that past memory that happened to her like that in her past life. Yeah, she can't get over what she did. People talk about how they've hurt you. Or how they've seen you grieve over things. You might have like experienced a lot of death and people see that you, you're really strong through that and they talk about that or for some of you people like talk about how um they've hurt you in the past and it's like it's not even they talk about it's not even that they admit that they hurt you but it's all they talk about is that situation that happened between you in the past because they obsess over it because deep down they know they hurt you and they won't let go of these karmic patterns so people are just like obsessed over you and like sending this energy towards you all the time. With this Ace of Wands, people talk about you have a really fiery aura. You're really grounded in touch with the earth. People see you as really attractive in a you know fiery way. Um, you. For some of you, people will say, like, oh, they like the fire in my loins or whatever. Um, they just express this, like, feeling of fleshness or heat going over them when they talk to you. Um, <laughs> they talk about how passionate you are, how passionate you make them feel. Like... You might ignite some strong passions in some people, Pile 3, who just, people see you as this like beautiful, sensitive being, princess, prince, just like, I don't even know how to explain it, like very in touch with the universe and the cosmos and maybe like star seeds, like some of you are in touch with other star systems. Um, I don't know, people just see you as this, like, aesthetic, artistic person, and in their memories, it's always, like, a snapshot of a painting, like, it's always beautiful memories, and they talk about how beautiful, um, your social media is, like, they really like your social media profile, and, like, the pictures you post, they talk about how, like, hot you look in those pictures. People talk about how you've gone through pain, and, like, um, have an acute understanding of it, like, you've reflected on it a lot, and they also talk about how you've, like, I don't know, it's not that they talk about how you've made them reflect on the pain, but the things that you've made them reflect on, on their own pain, they, it's like they, they speak those same things that you made them realize, so those moments where you're like, oh, maybe it's this, this, and this, it's like they, like, they're like, oh, yeah, and so when they reach those situations they needed advice on, they, like, say the exact thing, same thing you said, because it resonated so much. For this Four of Cups, people talk about how, like, quietly beautiful and mysterious your aura is like they feel like there's a deeper part of you that they can't get to know other people talk about how they miss having a friendship with you or they desire having a friendship with you um maybe they lost this friendship or maybe they never um tried to reach out for that friendship even though they always admire you um some people look back on how they hurt you and they just maybe they talk about it to their therapist or they talk about it or they talk about it to themselves a lot but they just it's almost like they're arguing in 
the shower to themselves about arguments they had with you but it's almost like even as they're arguing they feel foolish and they just stop talking because they're like I don't know I'm feeling that people talk about how like they don't understand your way of like expression or creativity it's like very mysterious to them like because they can't comprehend it it's like a puzzle to them but somehow you're connected with your true self or you're connected to the divine or there's like it's like your mysteriousness is hiding something beautiful underneath and it's like they want to get to know what it is or that it's like they express this like feeling of there's something more about you that they can't quite see but with the world in reverse I'm getting another person who's just like soul-sucking parasite person who's just obsessed with you constantly trying to like pierce through the veil do black magic just do anything to fucking get to you and reach your energy somebody who doesn't feel fulfilled without your energy and feels like they need you to fulfill them and they constantly obsess over you and talk about you they go between they go in and out of like talking bad about you and hating on your name and wishing you so much negativity and manifesting so much negativity for you and talking about how bad of a person you are to talking about how much they're in love with you how much they want they wish they could be with you how much they um and then they're like sitting there trying to manifest you back into their lives and try to like think about trying to talk to you but like pitying themselves because they can't they talk about you to all their friends and they just project about you and they like it's just exhausting energy it's almost like they've said it so much that the words aren't don't even make sense anymore and it, they've thought about it so much that the situation doesn't even make sense to them and they they just feel lost and confused but they have brought it upon themselves and it's almost like um everyone around them is abandoning them because they feel lost and it's energy that they keep bringing and won't shut up about you um and it's like it um and it's like it, they're attracting this into your life almost by like obsessively thinking about you and like you're very protected but like still some stuff slips through the cracks and where they're just like trying their damnedest to have some sort of effect on your life even though they're out of your life right now because you cut them the fuck off and with this high priestess in reverse some people like i'm getting that like you do embody the high priestess energy but some people are just so rude and they like they misconstrue what you do and they take it the wrong way or they even like take it in a really mean way and they'll just hit on you they'll talk shit about you behind your back in group chats i'm getting a fake group of friends here people just like conspiring <laughs> amongst themselves being like oh this person doesn't know anything they think they're smart they think they know what they're doing they think they have the like the audacity to have that mysterious spiritual aura like they're not that cool they're not that important i don't know man i'm just feeling that like someone do these people who don't feel fulfilled themselves talk about you and like they say these things about you that aren't true they like tell these lies about you that you like you aren't fulfilled you aren't abundant and you don't know your way around things you're not intuitive you're not in touch with your spiritual power your destiny which is completely wrong but people love spreading these lies about you because they like i don't know it's like i'm getting the vibe that people want it's like it's being said to other people for intention for the intention that um those around you will hate you or those around those that meet you will automatically judge you um so this may be like a school setting or a work setting where people just like some angry vengeful people just like have set it up to where um people hate you for stuff that you didn't do because these people talk about you in these like completely wrong ways but with the seven of wands in reversed at the top of the deck it's like people say that like i don't know you have such a way of forgiveness and just understanding like the oneness and the innate unity and things and in people and like the true reasons why people are selfish and behind people's like fear and hate um 
It's like people see this divinity within you where you just have this ultimate understanding of emotionality with this page of cups and you have this ultimate strength over your shadow side. And people see you as almost an angel. It's like people sometimes talk about seeing you in their dreams and just like feeling this familiarity with you or they talk about wanting to have a, I don't know, a trip, like a dream with you, an adventure with you where they're just like bonding with you and having a shared emotional experience of like life with you like they just feel like experiencing life with you would be almost magical and people talk about wanting i don't know to just experience something like that with you maybe there's something you some sort of experience you sell or you give out that people that people love they want it makes you rich it makes you abundant um <laughs> And yeah, I'm getting like a mom energy from this Nine of Swords. So she thinks about how she did you wrong and how like how much she hurt you like you were. And then like, it's like all these people are around her just staring at her like you did this to yourself. Like, I don't know why you're crying. I don't know why you're being so upset about this. But all she can like think about is those moments where she hurt you. And it's like she's so focused on herself and so focused on her own pain of like you rejecting her but then also like everyone just being like you did this to yourself and not understanding her side and even though you understand her side like i don't know you're just tired of like you just got tired of hearing her so she and she's ended up turning to other people and talking about you this isn't a mother figure this could just be an emotionally immature female feminine figure who just like can't get over how they treated you how they projected um their trauma onto you and they talk about it to everyone um you know when they're in that venting state which they often are because they're the type of person that just trauma dump but with this ace of wands i keep feeling the energy that people talk about this attractiveness about you or like there's something about maybe it's your body maybe it's like your face maybe it's like i don't know your maybe you have like a really attractive way of like um making people feel included in the conversation or like understanding people but people talk about like wanting to get to know you better if i know if you know what i mean i mean they feel like there's this inner mysterious inside you they just want to pick apart or find or like see blossom or help blossom people want to invest in you they talk about making you their muse <laughs> I don't know why they just want to like I'm, i don't know why i'm hearing muse so much but just like there's something about how you in, in ignite a passion in somebody's sacral chakra getting a lot of like sacral chakra energy from this card but yeah people just talk about how you seem to flow with the elements and you flow with your life and you sort of let things happen in a way that's like it's so fulfilled it's so intuitive and unique and authentic and it's like you had the world in your palms people talk about how much they want that fulfillment inside of themselves that you have and how beautiful they think that fulfillment is within you. Um, that however you create it, however you give it out to other people, people just see it as the most beautiful cup of love, the most beautiful strength, the way you go about things. And it's so innocent and purely just light, just shining, just love that like it almost makes people want to cry. Like people cry over you genuinely and like yeah oh yeah oh my god people wow wow people like they almost make themselves sick over how much they like cry over you and your beauty or there's something about not never getting to see you again or there's something about you being a fleeting thing like maybe like you're gonna die eventually or something like I don't know people just like cry over how just exactly how beautiful you are and how unique you are and how nothing like you will ever be created in the universe again like you're the only one but yeah pile three okay pile four 
who chose this fun guy this is your reading about what people say about you and what's been said about you so let's get into it spirit you know the drill just tell me what i need to know Give me some answers on what exactly is said about Pile 4. We have Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The Lovers. Strength and reversed. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. People say you're an emotional person. They see you as sensitive. They talk about how you refuse to look at yourself. Um, but this could also be taken in a way that you are humble, you aren't vain. People think that's a bad attribute, but, you know, it isn't always a bad attribute, since most people are pretty vulgar, pretty vain. With the strength in reverse, people talk about your shadow side a lot. Maybe you project your shadow side more than you project your, um, you know, you, you're more introspective with your light side, I mean. Um, but yeah, people talk about... And uh, they just really scrutinize every time you you do something wrong, or they really um, take it to heart. They hold a grudge against it, but it's really just because, you know, it's something about themselves that they dislike, or because you know they they don't let go of you. They still stick around you. It's just like for in some moments though, um, they'll like bring it up at a weird moment, or they'll. It's like they'll expect you to act a certain way because of like what happened and it's um <laughs> frustrating because you don't understand why they're doing it and for them they talk about how you like you don't understand that it's like they expect you to understand um when they're uncomfortable or something i don't know some people talk about how you step over their boundaries except these same people aren't setting boundaries like they aren't communicating what their boundaries are they aren't expressing when um, a boundary has been crossed they don't even talk to you about it so really yeah people talk about not trusting you but it's because they don't trust you they don't put their actual trust in you they fake their trust and then it's like they only perceive or project fake trust from you. But people, talk, people talk about how um, you don't take bullshit. You learn your karmic lessons. Like even though they talk about your shadow side a lot um, and scrutinize you a lot and scrutinize those dark moments a lot, it's like you grow past those things. You're able to balance yourself. You're able to lean back and be passive and like even if, even when everyone expects you to be bad you just like you lean back and do your own thing you don't let things affect you and you kind of learn a lot from that and people respect you for that like some people talk about how you deserve more respect or how much they respect you because of how much you've been through i'm getting a sibling vibe or a close friend vibe like this like they just want to be able to be strong like you and be able to it's like when they're experiencing those injustices and unfair moments, they're like, if that person can get through it, I can get through it. And it's almost like they take after your exact method of disattaching yourself from that and disattaching yourself from other people's perception of you. With the lovers, people talk about wanting a relationship with you. This ranges any from long term to just one day. Like, a lot of people talk about it, and there's a range of people that talk about it. 
and a range of things they want from you, all to do with like romantic sexual things. People just want to take from you and want to give into you in return. It's like you attract a lot of people's energy. A lot of people have love for you. A lot of people want love from you. A lot of people desire or are attracted by your med met <laughs> method and manifestation of love in your life. You may have a very abundant a very abundant um you know way about you that you know you just bring in abundance with your sense of love and your sense of giving your sense of surrender to the universe and people talk about how they want to be included in your life because of that sense of abundant love you attract and bring to every situation and just hold about yourself in your aura that's why so many people want a relationship with you they feel like when you know they're in a relationship with you they reflect who you are and they can um, reflect those positive qualities meanwhile negative qualities are also being reflected from them onto you which happens a lot in your past relationships people think about past relationships with you people think about how you were lovers people talk about um being lovers with you they brag about being lovers with you they were like oh i i was in love with this person other people talk shit about you they're like oh yeah i dated per this person and starts talking shit about you because they're jealous and they hate this and <laughs> hateful envy is vengeful <clears throat> and just be trashing your name because they used to be in love with you and you cut them off because they <laughs> were not giving you what you deserve people talk about being in love with you not being able to confess people talk about you know how attractive you are <laughs> and how you know they they dream about you like they some piece some somebody i'm getting an energy they really deeply have opened their heart about feeling like their love for you has opened their eyes in a sense With this Nine of Cups in reverse, people talk about, um, I'm hearing emotional codependency. People, um, really project this emotional codependency they have about you, like, to other people. And it's like, people, like, get weirded out by it because people don't notice how emotionally codependent they are on you or how obsessed they are with you and your sense of emotions and abundance and love. And then I'm also hearing that some people talk about, some people just like talk about you and say that your weight of emotions and love is wrong and they like actively dog on you for it. Like I'm getting just a hateful, you know, low vibration, just stupid, no brain people vibe from those people who talk about you and dog on your sensitivity and your authenticity. Some, some hateful family figures I'm feeling. Yeah, they're just talking about you because they're bitter and they wish they had you back in their lives after the shitty shit they did. <laughs> and with the Seven of Wands, people talk about how, yeah, you don't take bullshit. You stand your ground, you're defensive, you hold your ground, you're able to separate yourself from people and disattach yourself from what other people think. You're able to create yourself as an indi individual person in this universe, as an individual being and soul. And you have such an authentic, like, yellow chakra vibe that i don't know people just they feel this they talk about like i don't know they just talk about you like you're so apparent to them that they like they talk about you just in general like a lot um people just tend to be in love with you or they like the things that you say or they like the advice you give them or you like <laughs> um I don't know they talk about you liking them and how much they um how much they like that yeah it, I, people talk about how surprised they are when you say that you like them back like people genuinely will talk about like being super like people will go to like after you've like been like yeah i like you back they'll go to other people and be like 
genuinely is this real like though it's almost like it's over like they just can't handle it people like don't know how to handle themselves around you and have to like talk to other people and like, talk through their feelings about how overwhelming it is with you people also talk about how like some people you know you know obviously are arguing over it because you just have these different views like that are against the norm and you know some people are like wow these are actually like really interesting and like authentic <laughs> you know these are actually like bringing something new to the table and then other people are like you know obviously because not everybody's going to agree with you they're going to be fighting against those things and you know but people do talk about your ideas people talk about it's because it's going against the norm like getting some aquarius vibes here you just like you stand out against the crowd with your ideas and with your sense of passion creativity your thoughts what you bring to the table in a social situation um i'm seeing that for some of you you're at a family gathering or like a gathering with friends and people are like everyone at the everyone at the gathering or at outing is like sitting there talking about you you don't even know it like they're talking about you and saying all these things about you about how like how you're dressed or how you how open you are and how like how you're acting how open you are with your love and your life but they're really just all like it's just like all eyes are on you you know <laughs> and like everybody's saying different things about you some people are jealous some people are like wow that person's hot i don't know it's crazy like just a room full of people um you might be the center of attention in a, in a room um sometimes um with this ace of pentacles people feel like you are a witch people feel like you manifest things in a really creepily fast way people feel like you're really in touch with the universe in a really weird way like coincidences will happen deja vu will happen at a really weird time or you'll say something at a really weird time and it's like it weirds people out because it almost makes them feel like the twilight zone like they feel like you know, it makes them question everything they talk about how you're kind of weird some people are a little bit afraid of you by this and they talk about like you know what is this person like what's up with this person's person's like something's up with them but other people are like really intrigued and attracted by this new authentic energy that's really not been seen before and not been brought to the world that you're bringing to the table people talk about like <laughs> some people talk about wanting i don't know wanting to create with you like music videos and stuff i don't know if that makes sense but like maybe like you're an editor or you create music videos to your artist or just collaborating with you in an art form just like because there's something about you would manifest a lot of abundance to whatever they're doing by collaborating with them people talk about how um i don't know i feel like you're connected to the ocean or something and they feel this strongly about you, like you just have water sign energy, or you're really emotional. People also feel like you're a really dark person. Some people may like hate on you for it or like take you, misconstrue you or like, I don't know. Actively take you in a dark way or perceive you in a dark way, but you're just in touch with your shadow side of your darker energies that's just who you are and for some people they talk about it like it's attractive other people they talk about it like you're a devil or something or like you know they're just like that person there's something wrong with them or i know they're up to something but other people are like it's almost like they want to dive into you and figure out this like mysterious like deepness within you that they see in your eyes they talk about how beautiful your eyes are and also your voice they talk about how intriguing and attractive your voice is something about your voice like is commanding and makes them look at you and makes them think about you it stays in their head
people talk about how you break free from bonds, you break, you break free from bad relationships, you break free from bad friendships. Bitter people talk about how you sort of just let them out, of, out, out in the cold after they hurt you. Other people talk about how strong you are for leaving those people out in the cold. It's almost like you care about yourself, but you're not vain and you're not arrogant. You're humble. You're appreciative right, of all you have. People see how grateful you are for all you have. Yeah, it's like, yeah, people don't see you as, like, hedonistic, or, like, people don't see you as, like, take, 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 or always wanting more, or, like, taking advantage of people giving, like, no. People talk about how you, you make do with what you have, and it's like they're surprised by how little you need to just, like, be on the level that you are. It's almost like some people expect you, expect you to be this, like, annoying, egotistical person because you're so emotionally wise and so emotionally mature, but you're the opposite of that because you've experienced so much of that cockiness and arrogance in your life from other people. And people talk about how strong you've become from who you once were because now you, like, you don't take bullshit, you don't... You stand your ground, you don't doubt yourself, and you speak from the heart when, when you know people are hurting you on purpose and being wrong and being vengeful. You just don't, you don't deal with that anymore. You say exactly what needs to be said or you walk away. And you walk away. Yeah, I'm hearing that your spirit guides say that like, they want you to manifest more like they talk about how strong your powers of manifestation are and how much you've manifested for yourself already they talk about how exactly um you've manifested yourself into the world and how that's impacted other people how powerful that is and, how, and they talk about like planning where exactly it can be used and how exactly they can set you up for abundance and also spiritual lessons and also to like help other people in their lives and bring them abundance because you, you know, you're a bringer of abundance. The more you bring abundance, the more your spirit guides are going to set you up to help other people and help yourself. Being such a humble person as you are, and still standing your ground and, like, knowing your worth. People talk about how awesome that is. They talk about wanting to embody that energy more in their own lives. People talk about how you're an inspiration. They write poems about you, yeah. <laughs> some really dark people, you know, shadow side, like, some just, like, mean lovers from your past, just, like, talk about feeling your energy at all times. It's, like, all-encompassing. It's almost obsessive. Like, they just feel like they talk telepathy with you, or they, they feel like, like, you want to get back with them or like you're giving them a signal or something when you're not and they talk about they're like oh this person i'm gonna live but oh, yeah and other people are like oh my god this person's actually crazy uh, um but yeah no you're protected People talk about how protected you are. It's like some people have tried to do black magic on you or some people have tried to hurt you and it's like things have just gotten in their way and it's almost like they talk about it, they're like frustrated. They're like, why does this person get so lucky? Why does this person like, why can't I just? And it's almost like, I don't know, before they can even like get too mad about that, like the universe intentionally distracts them. Yeah, I'm hearing, like, the universe, like, talks about you and is like, what the hell? What does the universe be saying about you? Yeah, the universe just be, it's not, it's not that it, the universe talks about you, it, it kind of does. It's just, like, when you're um, channeling your shadow side or when you're in your shadow side, you, the universe is talking about you through you. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. And so that's why people be talking about your shadow side because they're like talking about you. What the hell? That's weird. But yeah, weird obsession vibe coming from the lovers over here. Oh yeah, okay, there's some a lot of bad energy of like obsession, but there's this one good energy of someone who just like feels mutually in harmony with you. Like maybe someone like I don't know. There's just someone who thinks about their memories with you and is just so happy they feel like they can die happy. They talk about how beautiful of a person you are and how you're you know, they're they're love you're their their person, you're their you're the one. Hi, Pad of Five. If you chose these mystical colorful magical mushrooms, this is gonna be your reading. Now let's get some cards from Spirit. What do people say about my pile five? What are some things being said about pile five? I just need a few cards. I'm gonna pull from another deck here. Clarifies King of Pentacles. Clarifies King of Pentacles. Chariot in reverse. Clarifies Empress. Princess of Cups. Princess of Cups. Clarify this death in reverse. Yeah, I knew this universe one was going to come out eventually. Oh. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay. Okay, so we have King of Pentacles, the Cherry in Verse, Empress, Princess of Cups, Death in Reverse, the Universe, and the Tower with Disappointment. Disappointment. I heard. Um, don't you don't <laughs> don't lose sleep about it. Like, okay. Um, somebody's somebody knows you're disappointed in something and does wants you to keep like fucking worrying about it. Maybe it's a spirit guide. Maybe it's a close friend or family member. This King of Pentacles. I'm getting this is like a person. Like a greedy person, annoying masculine figure, jealous person, annoying ex-lover, it's generally a bitter person, energy, cherry to reverse, cancer. Someone's talking about you saying like, you're the greedy one, saying that like talking all this stuff about you and like painting you to be this villain when the universe everyone fucking knows they're all talk they're bullshit they're bullshitting they clearly have no path with this chariot in reverse they don't know what they're doing don't know what they're saying they're pulling at straws here they want to act like you're the one pulling at straws because they're talking about your creativity, they're talking about just the way you express yourself, they're talking about the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look, they're talking about who you hang around with, they're talking about the things you say. And 
insecure. This Empress, this Princess of Cups, someone sees you as like beautiful, divine, feminine energy, an angel, just like someone from a past life, a soulmate, um, twin flame. Some people just like see you as such this amazing, the fluid, beautiful, feminine dream of a person. You have an angel heart. You have this aura of the past to you. Like, you hold the world in your hands. There's like this mysterious, nostalgic light inside of you that makes people feel like this inner child and who they once were when they once were when they were in those memories when they were happy without consequence people talk about the way you look the way you dress they talk about i'm getting a group of people like bragging about you or just talking about how, how attractive you are and bonding over it some people like secret admirers like friends around you who all like you, but neither, none, none of them can say it. <laughs> um, with this Prince of the Cup, sometimes people talk to you in their dreams or talk about you in their dreams or talk to other people that they've seen you in, you, in, in their dreams and they feel connected to you as a divine feminine. Some people see you as a dreamy person or like a Pisces type of person who just in touch with the spiritual realm, the metaphysical realm, subconscious realms in the universe. You make them feel coincidences, deja vu. You make them feel like a, they're in a dream, like they've always been there. They've also never been here before, and it's exhilarating. They talk about wanting a future with you. They talk about wanting to, you know, have a relationship with you, like connecting with you. and on such a deep spiritual level they talk about i don't know some people want to come towards you some people want to come back to you some people want to come through and stay some people want to come in and out just a lot of admirers here talking about you and just generally seeing you as this beautiful deeply deeply I don't know. I can't even find the adjective to, to describe how beautiful you are. Um, yeah. Somebody's losing sleep over you. Death in reverse. With this death or rest paired with the universe, somebody feels like you give them life. They're talking about seeing the universe in you. This could also be so many swim flame, just like seeing you express the universe within yourself and the way you give out to the world. Somebody talks about how you changed their perception of death and mortality, you made them feel more in touch with themselves and their life and being okay with things happening that they can't control, they can't change. Some people see you as a star. They really like your birth chart placements or they also, um, I don't know, see you as someone from outer space like an alien or a star seed. Some people talk about wanting to connect with you in the 5D. People talk about how you have this sort of life inside of you or about you that just illuminates the room and illuminates your every word, your every action. It illuminates your eyes too and I know people just see this expression about you and they can't help like 
I don't know, some people make art about it or <laughs> it feels like it remains with them for the rest of their life and they like they talk about it with people even long after they've met you or even long after they have stopped talking to you like you have a long lasting impression on people this tower this disappointment somebody you put your trust in disappointed you they made a bad choice and they hurt you now y'all are both disappointed because you know you can't go back to this person because they hurt you and you know that it was all for nothing, like y'all both loved each other and still love each other, but now there's nothing that can be done because of what the person did. And even though that person might regret it, it doesn't change the fact they did it. This person talks about how much they messed up, how they killed literally everything y'all built together, how you ran away and just like left that fucking catastrophe with that little girl walking away there, like, she's like, nope, not doing this again. They talk about um, just being disappointed in you, wishing you would have stayed even though the building was going to fall apart around you. Just like, they don't understand that you were divinely guided to leave that situation because it was going to shit. And they blame you for it and instead are like going in their own ego and like lashing out and talking about you and like being like, oh, I'm so disappointed in how things turned out or like... I don't know, they switch up between wanting wanting to, um, I don't know, they switch up their feelings about you, they're really mushy, really wishy-washy, but it's like, they can't stop thinking about the mistake they made and how disappointed they are in themselves, really, even though they tell everyone, like, it's it was you and it was your fault. Yeah, people think about their past memories with you with the Six of Cups on the bottom of this deck. And pleasure. People think about how much pleasure you cause them, how much pleasure you bring them. People get really attracted to you. People really like your sense of love. People really just like your aura being out of around your energy. People also feel like they love all their... Every single memory you have with them is good. You have a kind and pure heart in touch with your inner child. And they feel like um, they failed you. People talk about how they failed you and how like beautiful a person or how much they miss the memories they used to make with you, how they wish they could bring those back, bring that pleasure back again. This eight of cups on the bottom of this deck tells me that people talk about how they have not moved on from you. They talk about how you've moved on and how they still haven't moved on. Like people you've long since moved on from just like still stuck in their fucking ego about whatever happened between you and so karmically they just ain't gonna move on you know and so they're stuck with that shitty energy while you you know been you you you, you it don't matter no more to you yeah and just you know people just talking about oh i wish i could go back or oh this this person's fault just people like just they just can't move on they're stuck on you they're stuck on thinking about you they're stuck on talking about you no matter what it is they can say they stalk you just so they can talk about you just like whatever they can do to like feed that itch within themselves yeah someone talks about wanting to come back with you or come back to you but you are not up for that you are not up for that Yeah. Somebody talks about wanting to create, um, not, not create, somebody talks about wanting to help you with your pain and like channel abundance and energy and happiness into you so that you can have strength in those moments of pain when people are like taking advantage of you. Um, somebody also wants to, like, talks about wanting to, like, 
teach you something, <laughs> okay, not, like, teach you a lesson, but, like, show you a part of themselves that they feel like would help you on your spiritual journey. A lot of people talk about, like, you know, wanting to connect with you on that level and, like, learn from you and then also you learn from them. You also talk about with this tower and this disappointment, you don't let these disappointments get to you. You are not afraid to have your foundation shaken. You're not afraid to rebuild again from the ground. You are, you are very in touch with the earth, very in touch with like um, death and life energies. People say that like, it's almost like your way of living is so in harmony with the universe. Like in, they feel like this mysterious about you, a mysterious this weird thing about you where you're like how can this person they're like how can this person be so like live so attuned to the universe so naturally without really trying or at, like bragging about it or talking about it or something like that it's like you don't even know you do it people also talk about how how you just how you just this like princess of cups this empress person just like in your own energy in your own lane creating for yourself being abundant within yourself they talk about how like you have all these negative energies surrounding you and you just don't even let them bother you they're just like oh this person has so many people like thinking about them then people talk about you um talk about people talking about you but yeah people talk about how you have this self-love and they talk about wanting to have that within themselves too, like they wish they could have that. Or, you know, because some people it's like jealous and then other people it's like, wow, like this person's like self-love is so beautiful. Yeah, somebody really admires you and talks about, talks about you a lot and is just gushing over you because you, you're beautiful. Yeah. That's what I have for you, pile five.